maybe it was a naked trunder. Yeah, all we got here, level 84. I'm getting some tough fights here. I was getting much better fights yesterday. <laughs> Wanna laugh? I once fed a duchess because she didn't hit hard. Damn, that is not something you um you put out over stream, dude. What is that? See, this is this is looking interesting here. Level 84, picking support type champs. These could be quite annoying though, like passive healing, passive healing, really annoying to deal with. So far, I'm thinking the Michelle ban. What are you guys saying? I feel like Michelle here, yeah? He's the most annoying champion. This is this could be damage. This could be stunnage. But I think I should go, end up going first here. Lots of high cartoon bans here today. Normally they're banning my Cornelia actually. It's a bot. You think it you think it's a bot? What makes you think it's a bot? Just a champion selection. Oh, we didn't get the drop defense on the one person we needed it on. If I lock out her passive, she can't revive anyone. It's not going instantly. I don't think it's a bot. Okay, let's try and take Rector out of this. She's dead. AoE here. She's still locked out, so we are good for this fight. This should be game over. I think it, you know, I think it might be a conspiracy type of feeling. This is a bot type of stuff. No? I think, I think there's more people with accounts like we've just seen there than you realize. I try my hardest every day. You know what I do? Sometimes I'm sitting there. Lady H is chatting away. Chat, chitty, chitty, chat, chat, chitty, chat. And all I'm thinking of is, what interesting video can I do today? <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Don't tell her that. Oh, what I'm doing here, what I'm doing here. Ultimate Death Knight's not such a big deal for me. Nor's Rotus. She could be. He probably is. If he's in bolster or something, he's a big deal. I'm going to bet that he's not. Yeah, no, there it is. I just didn't want a big shield to fight against because I... I'm betting that I'm quicker than this dude, just based on what I'm looking at. So we can get some control going. I've got AoE hits, so Ultimate Death Knight's not really a problem, and Rotus shouldn't be a problem with AoE hits. Did get rid of my Stag Knight though, so I might not have the damage. We'll see. Not enough yet. I've still got another AoE to come if I get my turn. I've, I'm going to get cut in on that. I do get my turn. So I think I'll just go AoE nuke. He's got no revive. Get rid of Rotus. Depends really now. Does his skull crown have enough damage? That's what this depends on this fight. And hopefully this fear goes off as well. Like that's why Cornelia can be pretty clutch. We get the fears like that. She's now dead. And this should be home run. Oh, he's, she's not dead. Go to Ultimate Death Knight. Forgot. How many times am I going to get caught out by Ultimate Death Knight doing that? Okay, should be dead this time. Yes. This is what I was talking about in my... Uh, I did a video earlier with HWZ. Like... This is not a team that I have any right to be competing with. And yet, and we are, you know, we are because of making the right decisions at the right time. I'm gonna wake this dude up. Hopefully he gets feared anyway. Oh man. Fear kicks in. Beautiful. Potico is going to heal again. Give it up, Sergi. Oh, it's going to be annoying, though. It's going to be a long one. Do I just take out... But I can get rid of his passive. I'm just wondering if I should just block, lock him out. Because he's actually the one who's causing me problems here. His A1 doesn't cause me problems. I think I'm going to try and deal with him. Take him out. Come on. Take him out. It's just no damage there. I mean, I kill ultimate death knights on their own. It's the combo with the apothecary that's a problem here. Because he's, they're basically healing each other up. Don't kill her. If he kills her, that's it. Oh, he should have gone for a single target for sure. Oh, he's left. <laughs> we'll take it. I had no right for that. We'll take it. He actually, I think that was more of a rage quit because he, um, because <laughs> he knew he made a mistake. He should have killed my Ronda there. I'm going for picking Cornelia first here as a bit of a bait. Yeah, I think whoever you pick first, people must be like, yeah, that's someone they really want. I'm hoping it's a bit of a bait so they ban away the Cornelia and leave my Hiker Tomb. I need to put my wins up, yeah. That's two for two. Take that. So what are we doing here? This could be really annoying. AoE freeze. Two damage dealers. Rogni with his shields. 
I'm kind of tempted by Brogney again. I think I could kill the rest. Man Eater could be a problem though. I'm pleased that they've kept my stag in. Brogney, I just imagine, is going to have... Like, if I built a Brogney for Arena, he would absolutely have Bolster set on. So I am going first. I thought I would. Which gives me a good chance here because I can just sleep. Did get a resist though. Damn, I didn't expect the resist. Let's see if we can get drop defense out there. Yes. Dude, I hope Man Eater dies. I hope Apothecary dies. I hope Ninja dies. I hope they're all dead. Oh, it's good. It's good. Now just don't one shot me. Uh, I'm going to pretend this guy is called Philip Yang. Free to play rage. Level 84 takes a dive. Not quite as bad as we thought. All right, I'm going to leave that there for the free to play. Let's jump on the main account. But not bad. Three for two. So since I did live arena last, I'll tell you who my new favorite champion is. The mighty Uko. Oh my lord. This champion. Such a good early pick. So annoying. Should I reset the win loss for my uh, main? Or just keep it going? Uh, where's my Duchess? She's not the right Duchess. Where's my Duchess? Am I going blind here or what? Oh, because so I don't have it on the right thing. That's what I want. Okay, this shit. I've got another Duchess. I need to change my Duchesses over. I wish I could just be like... Swap all of my Duchess's gear from one to the other one. It's really frustrating. So this one doesn't have Ascension, but she's in my Stone Skin setup. My other one's got Ascension. Really annoying. Uh, what we've got here? AoE Nuke. I think I'm going to go with you. Maybe should have gone with Turbo there. I'm not sure. How is my Uko built? Is he in a Stone... Uh, no, it's not. Stun set. Stun set. Ah, uh, he's got a Lil. What do I get rid of here? I either get rid of Duchess or... I think I get rid of Necrit here. Get rid of the Protector. I think I get rid of Necrit. He's got rid of my Duchess. Probably a good pick from him. One of my problems I've got here is my Necrit is protecting my Hefrak, who doesn't need protection because he's in Stone Skin. But I can't get his HP higher than my Rotus at the minute. So I need to do some gear swapping around a bit. Uh, no stone skin at all for his team here. Surprised with that. Here comes a Lil. I guess he's just on A1 here. Yeah, that's the problem with a Lil, isn't it? Just rips that stone skin straight off. I didn't think of that. Anyway, we're going to rip some of his buffs off. No stuns. But they did have block debuffs up for most of it. Yes. Am I likely to one-shot this Duchess? Only one way to find out. Oh, we are. That's good. That's good. Let's protect here. Uh, Self-buff. And go for a bit of nukage. Be it. Not good affinity here, actually. Oh, take a rest. Obviously, he's still got... Uh, revive on him so they're all coming back but we're in a good spot I could kind of just rinse and repeat a little bit here I was hoping she'd die off that we're about to get a candy test oh it's actually a big hit so I think we go all in on the Duchess she's the only one who's got a revive left he's about to be dead is that the target though yes it is we've got no reviver left now I've just got to get through this guy. Hopefully we don't weak hit. Oh, we didn't. That should be game. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, I've got to reset the arena scores just for my main hit. Uh, what do I ban here? Mortu's not really a problem. Leo could be a problem. Only one reviver. I could get rid of the revive. Ultimate Death Knight kind of messes up my Rotus. Got rid of my Rotus anyway. That's annoying. It literally, I banned the one dude that he played for anyway. It's annoying. I, maybe I should have banned more two. Yeah, I've got so many AoEs in this team. AoE from Warlord. AoE from Uko. Damn, that's probably a bad pick, actually. Block out. Don't get Fiery Rage. No uh, removal of any stone skin. Stun here. Asleep on me. I guess we're just going to buff up and annihilate 
the revive. See you later. Do nothing other than an A1 here. I'm just worried about this Mortu now. Fiery Rage unlocked. If he kills my Turvold, I'm in a lot of problem. Yeah, crap. Can I even win from here? I don't think I can win from here. Ah, that's my bad. That's crap. I should have banned him. I should have banned him. I feel like Rotus is so good in for me anyway. Do I just take Do I just take Rotus off the board here? Duchess. See if he has to get him powers him. Yeah, maybe. He's taken my lockout away. No stone skin anywhere. I'm much slower. I'm definitely seeing I'm I'm barely ever quicker than any team that I face right now, which maybe is a problem because I'm always having to deal with going second. Go A2 here. Grab some health. I'm gonna go after this dude, of course. Oh, don't don't kill him. Okay, good. No! Forgot <laughs> about that. Okay, one reviver down. Kill two. Oh, that would have been good to kill two there. Can't go after him. Gonna kill Uko, I guess. Oh, got his extra turn away. That's so big for him there. It means he's gonna take a swing at Duchess, I guess. There's no point going here. Go here, you lose. He does. That seems crazy to me to go there. I'm just gonna take out the other reviver. I guess maybe now we can kill him, but that seems crazy to me. Right. A2 hits harder here, right? They don't know for sure. A2 or A3. I think it's A2, isn't it? Ooh, that's big. Double stun. This is Mighty Uko at her best. So ridiculous. Guess we just ally attack on the reviver, do we? No, she's protected. Maybe we just take Necro out here. Stun though. Yeah, take Necro out. Oh, it's not much damage though. What have we got in the tank? Oh, it's good! It's good! I see your mighty Uko. I raise you one more. Ah, what do I... Can't afford to let that happen. Do I lock that out? If I lock out Foley, Foley's basically useless. Can't afford to have people, though, that can die. So maybe we bring a Leo as well. Dupes aren't allowed when you get up into gold area. Got damage coming in from... This could be a straight nuke team here. I might be in trouble. I guess I go Rotus because at least then we might cut in, get going. I could ban him away. I feel like Uko's maybe the ban here. Although they wouldn't have an increased attack if it wasn't for Arbiter. Maybe I'll get rid of Arbiter. So Hedgy's going to have to A1. If he AoEs and is built for damage, he's going to bring my Leo low. Oh, look at it. It's so toxic. Look at what happened. He tried to AoE, he landed his lockout on my front man and got sheeped, so no one else took the AoE. He, Uko's just done a ton of work there though. Oh man, Uko's just done some work. Rotus is probably dead here. No? What's going on with this fight so far? So I think we go A3 first, which gives me, enables my champion to stay immune, right? To various shenanigans. Swift parry here, and obviously that's his normal passive kicking in. He's already used his block revive skill. But Leo could just wipe out my team. I don't think my passive's propped yet. There's my passive. So we need to kill the Leo. And then that, that's game. Nice. I'm probably going to be getting rid of this dude. Did I fight Pagan already? I feel like I, I recognize that name. Got to bring another damage dealer here. Got a reason to stop my revive here as well. Which could be annoying. If he goes quick enough, probably shouldn't have fought in Hefrak there. Um, this is tricky, right? So if I ban Arbiter or Lissandra, which is where his speed's coming from, then Warlord's de definitely locking me out. So I'm not quick enough. I think I ban the Warlord and just assume I'm taking a hit. He can block revive me on one revive, but not on two. I think he will ban my Warlord as well. Yeah, he does. So I've just got to assume I'm taking a hit here. Oh, one Nuka. What am I doing? What am I doing? What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. What an idiot. I can't believe what I've just done. I still, I still think he's going to struggle to beat me. Even with me playing like an absolute idiot. I've already got increased attack. I don't need to buff. So we're just going to go A2 here. Hope we get an absolute nuke. Oh, man. 
Take a rest. If you wouldn't mind, take a rest. Uh, Solus is very good, but not without an increased defense champion. Like, he needs a real good setup to be uh, really strong. There we go. Is that 5... Is that 5-0 and oh on the main or 5-1? and 5-1. One? And one. Uh, what's going on? Georgid. What? Georgid is a pretty much an anti-necro. Um, what's this guy called? Necret. <laughs> not necro. I can't even ban him because I need to ban Warlord. Or do I need to ban Warlord? He's going to leave him in. So he's probably going to ban, I'd imagine, my Rotus. I could even ban Arbiter and try and go quicker. No, I've got to ban Warlord, I think. <sighs> so hard. That's such a hard one to know what to ban. Might have just lost myself the game, really. Does he ignore Does he ignore um, Stone Skin as well? He does, doesn't he? Yeah, I think this is a loss. I think I got outdrafted there. Much quicker than me as well. So I'm definitely taking a smack any second. If he just one-shots here, there's no block revive, I guess. Does he one-shot this? He does easily through Necrit. Wasn't even close, like 190k through Necrit. Or did he just ignore everything Necrit does? Did he just ignore everything Necrit was doing there? Oh, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. My only hope here is that my Uko starts landing a ton of stuns whilst I give myself enough time to get Big Boy back in the fight. I either, I could resurrect with Uko, which would give block damage here, and then hide everybody. I think that's a better shout, actually. Forget trying to stun. See if he can't sleep you. So she's probably just going to A1, maybe my neck crit, I guess. Makes no sense to. Now we hide everyone away. Trunda can't kill my Hefrak. Georgid, if he kills anyone, my Hefrak goes off. Georgid might ignore block damage, but he can't see him because he's, he's hidden behind a veil right now. Somehow I'm still in this fight, I think. Just going to A1, try and get decreased attack down. Hopefully a stun here and there. I guess I'm going to protect somebody... It's got to be Hefrak, hasn't it? Hefrak's got increased attack. We've just got to go at it with the A2 and hopefully pop off. Popping off! That's a win right there. Every name gone except your name. Let's go. That's a big win. I like that one. Doing all right so far with six for one on the main account. I think I ended up three for two, did I, on the free to play? Six for one on the main so far. A lot of um, big HP champions though. So I think Turvold's still possibly a threat for me here. And then I can see what she bring, uh, what they bring. Already at 1285 points. So this is high. This is someone who's been farming a lot. Double Harima. There you go. Flipping heck. Double Harima. I'd imagine if this was me, this one would be built worse. This would be a bait Harima. Do I just lose the Duchess here? She's defensive though, right? No, we lose the Seafy. She's a defensive nuka. So we lose the Seafy. Try and kill the Duchess. If I can kill the Duchess, then I've got a chance. But Tervold is my only damage, really. And if he takes out Tervold, I'm in trouble. Harima, not that bad. Dude, I'm seeing Harima pretty bad. Mithrala going first. Oh, we still got increased defense anyway because of Mithrala. What am I thinking? I'm so dumb sometimes. Anyway, let's get rid of some of that. We got petrified. Guess I'm just A1 in here. Until that stone skin wears off. The key is you kill them early. Yeah, well, I'd love to, Zap. I'd love to kill them early. Now that I know the key, I'll get on it. I guess he's still got an AoE, but the AoE's here, and the AoE's currently a sheep, so I might have a bit of a chance here. I've just stolen Stone Steam. Why did I steal that? Where did I get that from? Anyone know what happened there? What was the mechanic there? He steals any active buff, but when hit? Oh, just at the start of a round. Okay. Damn, that's actually massive. So I guess I want to just a two here, do I? The Duchess, I'm not, not likely to kill this one off, one shot with Karimas out there. So not much else I can do. I need Turvold to wake up. Let me give Turvold a go. Turvold, yes. Okay. Big boy hits, please. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. Let's go. Reviver gone. We've got a chance. Please land some stunts. Do your best at stunning everyone. We've got a sheep away anyway. Let's hide our damage. 
guess I'm going to go for the lower one. DA3. Oh, still not enough damage. So harsh, man. It's still not enough damage. Is A1 going to kill this here? I'm going to go A2. This is so close. I've got, I'm provoked here. Don't kill me. Oh, I've got to turn back. Please kill him. Please kill her. Come on, nice walker. Have a rest. Let's go. Ooh. Damn, that is a fight right there. Oh, that's a big fight. I like that one. That's fun. This is what I mean. Like, I really enjoy Live Arena. I enjoy it way more than Plat because it's not like, do your fights. You've got half an hour. Do all you can. It's like, I actually get a minute to think about what I'm doing. And I guess my brain doesn't work quick enough for Plat to be at a high level. Whereas this, I've got a bit of a second to think. I don't always make the right decisions, but I'm definitely enjoying it a lot. Uh, Kaimar here. So maybe he's going for a speed team. What's this one? What's this um, blessing here? I don't know that image. That's Life Harvest, is it? So, um, so you were saying, Seth, Life Harvest is pretty solid in Arena 2, yeah? When you revive... Oh, yeah, that's it. When you revive, you lose max HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember now. This is looking pretty nasty here. This is looking kind of gross. Lock Ultimate lockout. They're quite squishy, though. Apart from Duchess. Is Uko squishy or not? Oh, uh, sorry. Yumiko, I mean. feel like it could be time for Hedgy, but... Too risky. Very careful. Right? Yeah, Yumiko Karata as well. Yumiko's got to be the ban here. Thing is, Yumiko's the ban. But without Duchess at this moment in time, they are so squishy. So, my head freaks being banned for sure. If I ban Karato, does he have any damage? Like, Ultimate Death Knight's not going to do enough damage, I don't think, to threaten. Is it just Karato and that's game over? Like, I might be annoyed a lot. I don't think he's got much else. Unless he's built like a damage UDK, I'm not sure that he can really hit hard enough to be a problem. Who do you ban on my team here? Probably Hefrak, right? Oh, he's ban Uko, okay. <laughs> Wishmaster, what are you thinking, my friend? Where's your damage? Where's your damage? Oh, man, here we go again. Harima. What's, what's my best counter to Harima then, guys? What is my best counter to this champion? Got a five-star... Necrit here. Yeah, banning, fine, but then wait till we see what else is coming. Cupidus, so I've heard someone else say Cupidus. Why Cupidus here? Why would Cupidus be the answer? The answer is Turvold. Yeah, I was thinking Turvold, but I need a second one. There's no point in me bringing Rotus. I could bring pick Rotus and ban Harima. I think I'm going to do that because I think Rotus is going to get... Rotus probably is going to get banned anyway, or maybe my Warlord gets banned. I could bring Ronda, but my Ronda is built pretty crap at the minute. Interesting, they left in both of my damage dealers here. Kaimar might be quick enough just to sleep me. Trunda can definitely kill my Turvold. But they can't take down my Duchess. I don't think so, anyway. Didn't sleep the go. So, 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 what do I want to do here? I don't think I can kill through Necrit, so I'm just going to have to... Do I kill the Necrit straight out with that shield as well? Oh, nowhere near. Why not? Why was that so low? Did I get the 3% chance to not crit there? A reaction gear, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Trunda's about to sit down by Rotus. If Turbo gets a go, I can't see they've got a chance of surviving that damage. They've got to focus... My Duchess. It depends if, if Trunda gets a go before my Turvold, then she'll just AoE nuke Turvold into the ground. Stunnage. Look at this. Stun. Stun. Three stuns. Ah, oh, it's brutal to them. Absolutely brutal. Necret, let's have some of your health. Thank you, my friend. If I A2... Oh, sorry. A3 Trunda now, I should kill Necret and Trunda. Oh, it's good. See ya! See ya! Thanks for coming! See you next time! This is a good day. Good day for, for the wins. Love Turbold, yeah. I'm really enjoying Turbold. Cool thing is, it's not just it's not just like who who's a good champion, right? It's it's what I like about live arena is I'm looking at my enemies and I'm making decisions about what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's the fun part. Like I haven't picked Turvold every fight here. It's it's about who am I, who do I need to win this fight? 
This Bakerman's bringing in like an old school speed team here. Lower level than we've been facing so far. I think he's going to struggle. It's not a bad team comp here from Bakerman. I think without Rotus though, he struggles for damage. Saying that, I don't like facing Warlords. Which means if I leave Rotus in, he's hard countering... My Leo. I think it's Warlord Ban. If I drafted Rotus there, then Warlord wouldn't be as big a problem. I could have bought Hedgy, but I don't think Hedgy beats up an Elva. She's too quick as well. She's in Stone Skin, but she's already gone. She's gone and quickest in their team. It's just, or maybe second, but it's too quick. You need to be slower if you're going to be running Stone Skin there. Three stuns again. Uko, Uko, Uko. So let's go in. Ally attack with my Leo. Some damage away. Protect the mighty Uko. Bring the A3. Have a rest, most of you. Okay, let's bring the A2 now. Sorry. Good try, Bakerman. See you later. Next time, my friend. This is quite a good anti Rotus here. And this is quite a good anti Leo. It's not bad drafting, actually. My candy's not built very well. This is a trouble. I need to build out a couple more champs, really. Uh, that does work in PvE as well. No sets can be resisted. Doom Slayer. They've just got a straight percentage chance to land. You don't need accuracy to land them. They can't be resisted. But you can't boost your chance other than, you know, maybe Fearsome Presence as a mastery. This is a tough one. So I get rid of the lockout. Oh, this is really tough. I think I get rid of the lockout. Yeah, is this a Shinny comp, is it? I, I see Shinny using a lot of um, Inifui. Although... I've been watching these videos a bit. It seems like the battles I'm watching him in, and if he's not doing that much work. So, um, obviously, I don't watch him for long enough. But the thumbnail's like, and if we doing work again, and I'm like, oh, cool, I'm interested to see this. And then it doesn't really do that much work. So I guess we're going to protect you. Necrit's dead right now. Oh, no, he's done there. Okay. Just going to go with the A3. I don't know why I made 3 him. Why did I not A2 then again? I've done the same, so, uh, same mistake. Okay, let's hide everyone away. Yeah, cool breeze. Yeah, we've got um, a lot of people watching the stream today. It's cool. It is cool. Cool. Okay, we're going to get some damage away here. I don't think I kill Necrit. I will kill Rotus, I think. Oh, Necrit does die. That's nice. All the protection's gone here. Question is, does Duchess just pick them up in time? Not yet. So we've got the ally attack coming in with two hitters. I need to kill Duchess, really. I don't know if this will. Is it? Oh, it's nowhere near enough. Okay, so she's picking everyone up. But I should kill the Duchess now. Rota should just go straight down again with my Leo. I might just kill them all here. Should we kill them all? Leo, what do you reckon? Would I kill them all? Oh, we're not. Duchess is alive. How is she alive? I thought she was going to die there. You can protect her all you like, dude. She is taking a dive. Her time has come. Hey, Frank, you don't get this done? Yes, you are. Another win on the board, guys. Let's go. Doug, I've got to say, I'm really enjoying Live Arena. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's, it's easily the most fun I've had in Raid in a long time. Like, to the point where I've reinstalled Raid on my phone so that if I don't have time to do my Live Arenas, like, on my PC, when I'm sitting there in bed and Live Arena pops, I'm playing my main account, Arena, because I want to. I'm like... I want to do this game mode. Like, it, it's a load of fun for me. It is a load of fun for me. I get it's not everyone's taste. I prefer it so much to normal arena. Like, so much. Uh, what we got going on here? Cardiel, two nukers. So we know they're nukers already. Handy. Trunda. I mean, my Rotus can deal with this. Doesn't deal with this very well. This might be a, a Leo fight, you know. Both of these Leo will kind of counter. I think I'll do this. Yeah, I get that Live Arena is going to probably be more fun for people that are more endgame. Like, there's not much endgame content that comes out where I'm, like, pumped to play it, honestly. And I am pretty pumped to play this game mode. So, maybe it is more endgame. Yeah, I understand that. There's no way I'm letting Yumiko through. I hate Yumiko. I hate playing against Yumiko. 
I've got a really good counter to both of his Nukas here in my Leo. And he's got no way of removing my buffs. So he's got to try and hit through my buffs. He's going to have unkillable up. So it's just kind of biding my time here. Don't think... Uh, and obviously, I definitely could be wrong. I don't think this team comp can beat my team comp. But we'll see, I guess. What's coming here? Another nuke? Everyone's doing nukes. Now we've got um, Revive on Death coming up. So before I've had a turn... They've unleashed a hell of a load of buffs and stuff, yeah? So we're just going to slam some people into the ground. Starters. This stun here is quite annoying, actually. This stun is worse than the extra hit, I think. Pick up Necrit. The cool thing about that is it does hide everyone away, but Trunda's still got another nuke coming, I guess. But at least no one else is taking damage right now. Trunda's going to sit these two down. No, it's trying to use... Both AoEs already. Now we can come in with some of our own. Finally, Uko gets a go. Bit of stunnage. Welcome to the stun Uko, my people. And I guess we just go straight in with the nukes. Oh, she's not quite dead. Damn. I thought that would be everyone dead. Got to revive Candy here. Has she, has she used a revive already? I don't think so. Oh, she, maybe she has. Uh, we're just going to take out the reviver. No? Has he not got the ally protection? Oh, he hasn't got ally protection up. What an idiot. What an idiot. Uh, I don't really want Trunda coming at me. I think I'm just going to A1 the Trunda for now. Get some stuns off, hopefully. One stun over here. That's good. Seafy's got to be the one we take out. So we needed Seafy to burn her ability. I'll tell you what, Cardiel's also very annoying. Cardiel's very annoying. Because he's cycling round to his revive on death again really quickly here. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Be enough. Oh, she's done it again. She's done it again. Come on, give me a stun or a kill. Kill her! Die, Sifu! Let's go. Sometimes, you know what? Sometimes game modes like this as well, I think they can be enjoyable to watch high-level players play the game. Like, so if I think about League of Legends, I still play League of Legends. I'd play it very casually. Yeah, I don't think I'm good at the game. I don't I don't think I'm ever going to be good at the game. I play it because I enjoy the game. But I still watch high-level players in, like, tournament-type stuff. And I actually think there is a, a fair amount of skill at the highest level here that is fun to watch. So whether you don't like the game mode to play... That doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad thing for Raid to add it, I'd say. The trouble with Raid, and it's always been the trouble, and it's something I hope they would try and do something about for Live Arena, but they don't ever put you on a level playing field with anyone else. Like, if they if they offered up, and this is what they should do, by the way. This is what they should do. They won't do it, because obviously this is their cash cow, but they should actually have a, a way of like this tournament for this week, everybody gets access to this pool of champions and this pool of blessings. And it's just literally an even, everyone's got access to the same stuff. And then you do a draft. That would be so good. It would be so damn good if they would do that. But obviously that's not something they're going to do. It would be brilliant. Like it would be the best possible way they could do it. Still have this running, the live arena, it runs, it runs, but they drop a weekend tournament. Imagine it. Wales wouldn't play it. Who cares? Wales can play this mode. It would be so good. Honestly, I think it would just be so good for the game. Block Reviver here. We've got two Stone Skin Nukas here. One of them with Block Revive. I quite, I quite like this Mithrala setup, by the way. So I'm about to get, what do you call it? Like Stone Skin, whatever you call it. That, that petrification thing. Which means I'm not going to get across my second hit. It's actually quite a good anti-Uko. I did get it. I guess it's not 100% chance to land. So he's got a chance to block revive someone. Doesn't do enough damage. This is the trouble with, um, with Foley. Doesn't do enough damage. So now we swipe in. There goes your damage dealers, my friend. Sorry. Uh, thanks for coming. Appreciate you coming. Backlist, but back out, friend. That's the trouble with Foley. I like the idea of a block revive champion, but he just doesn't hit hard enough. Oh, snorted my head right now. What's that? 
What was that weak noodle hit? Is he going to get his revive away here? Oh, he does. It's so annoying. Hefrak, you let yourself down there. Show Hefrak how it should have been done. So I've only lost two tonight. We've got four minutes left. We're going to have one more fight. I feel like maybe I should build Baron in my Hefrak gear. Maybe that would be better. Maybe straight, that's an improvement. Talking of Baron. Well, we know what the damage is. This, this is quite a weak strategy, pulling your damage out first. It's much easier to counter when you know what's going on with damage. So I know that I need Necrit in the fight and I need Duchess in the fight. And that should stop a lot of what's going on here. 50%, yeah, not 3%, 50%. Yeah, that feels more like it. He is going speed team here, though. That could be annoying. If I bring someone like a Leo, Baron and Trunda gets kind of hard countered by Leo. I think it's this. These two. If someone dies, Hefrat explodes on them. These are all squishy so far. But damn. That is an interesting team. Lose the increased attack. Lose the fight, I think. Hedgy could have done this fight. Hedgy probably could have one-shot this, this lot. Actually, yeah. A1 here. No buffs to rip off. I think we're just going to do some A2 nukage. Should be... Oh, she wrote. Yeah. Farseg. Sorry, my friend. You weren't ready. You weren't ready for that.